Hi and welcome to the Azam Shop channel on YouTube. I'm your host Mohammad Azam and in this screencast we are going to take a look at one of the most important features of the Objective-C programming language and it's called blocks. Now you can think of blocks as closures and you can pass or a pointer to a method and you can pass those around. So let's actually go uh, get ahead and start using blocks and see how uh, they're beneficial. Okay, so this is a simple console application. Uh, the simplest block that you can actually create is kind of like this. Okay, now uh, this basically is a block. It doesn't really return anything, so there's no return type, and it doesn't take in any parameters, so it doesn't have input parameters. Uh, this block doesn't even have a name. Okay, so uh, it's pretty useless kind of block that you will most probably you will never you know, create this in your application. So let's go ahead and create uh, a block which has a name so that you can call it. Okay, so I'm going to create a block which returns nothing. So it's going to return void. And then we have this crazy syntax, which I'm going to explain in a moment. Um, so over here, uh, this caret sign kind of suggests that I'm creating a block. And the name of the block is my first block. It takes no arguments, so there's no input parameters. Okay, and now I have to define kind of like the body of the block. So I'm going to say over here a block, and it's not really going to take any parameters. So I'm just going to do like this, and here we go. So this is my block. It doesn't really have any, even if it has any return type, you don't really put it over here. Okay, so we're just going to say that this block is, uh, it's, uh, you know, it doesn't take anything and it basically returns nothing. And I can simply say over here, my first block. Now, if you need to call this block, it's pretty simple. You're just going to say my first block. And since it doesn't really take any parameters, you're just going to say my first block and then execute it. So let's go ahead and run this. And I think I might have to adjust this a little bit. And when I run this, you will notice that, uh, oops, where it is, here we go. So you will notice that it simply prints out uh, my first block on the screen, okay? So let's go ahead and create our second block. Just trying to uh, kind of like focus it. Let's see. There we go. Should be okay, I guess. All right. So let's create a different kind of block now. And in this block, it will uh, take in a parameter. Okay. And uh, it will also return a parameter. So let's go ahead and do that. So its uh, return type will is integer. So that's why I'm saying that it's going to return an integer type and we can say my second block, all right? And it takes in an integer parameter. So you can actually say over here, the integer instead of void. And uh, then you have to define basically. So I'm just going to pretty much say the name of the parameter. And then you can have a return type. Let's say return one or return two, okay? And then if you want to invoke it, you can simply say my second block and you can pass in two, okay? And it's going to return two multiply or two, or you can actually do it something like this. So it's going to say two multiply by two. And if you print it out, it will print out four, okay? Um, there is a another type of block, okay? Which takes uh, multiple parameters. So if I want to type some name or something, I can simply say, okay, this was name is integer. It's going to return integer and uh, the block name. So we can simply say over here, my third block, and it can take multiple parameters. So I'm just going to say over here, and it's a uh, string and uh, you can say anything you want just going to say that it's going to take in a string as a parameter. Now um, you can actually define this block and you can say that okay integer will be stored in num 
and ns string will be stored in like uh, whatever my string and it would return to point o okay now what is the problem that you're facing in this uh, block what one of the problem is that you have to have an asterisk sign over here okay and there are some other problems with this block that you're facing well so first of all I'm saying that okay this is it returns an integer okay and it's going to be that the block name is my third block it takes an integer parameter and the second parameter is actually some sort of a string that you have let's say if I do like this what will happen nothing and oh, I'm missing something over here kind of crazy so this this is why the block parameters and block is so much weird like when you are dealing with blocks and a string my string and then return to there we go oh see sometimes the problems are very very uh, small so I was returning 2.0 and it says hey you you're saying that you're going to return an integer so it has to be 2 okay or else you have to cast and everything else so we can compile it and uh, it compiles correctly but now you can say or you can invoke my third block and you can pass in different values which is 2 comma and then you can pass in let's say uh, something over here okay and then it will return you the integer value that you can use um, one of the other things that you can do to simplify this is to type def the arguments that you're passing so you can simply say over here type def and the define the existing type that you have which in this case is uh, my third block well I'm just gonna say my um, good block or something okay and just define what you are actually taking in so it's integer and then number and then the ns string my uh, ns string my string okay so this is the type def that you have defined and you can go over here and instead of writing all this thing again and again and again what you can do is uh, you can use this all the things as type def so we're here you can say my good block and then you can say my good block and you can define it and you can use it all right so let's go ahead and create a block for a, uh, a class so let's see what we can do that over here so a class that takes in a block so this is a request helper okay and what we want to do is we want to create a class that prepares a, uh, a URL and then basically X on the block that you are passing it so I'm just gonna say void prepare and the first argument will be a string that you're passing a URL basically and then we define a callback method in the form of a block so I'm going to say over here void because it will not return anything and it will be a block it's going to take a string and that will be kind of like a response that you are returning and uh, you can say any name for your block I'm just going to say it's going to name uh, a block itself and if I want to implement this it's pretty simple I can go over here I can just simply implement that and then call uh, block and then you can see that the block uh, basically takes a parameter okay and you can pass in the URL and that's pretty much it so if I go on the main function and I create that type which is um, request helper request helper and if I just want to create that type request helper in it and request helper and if I want to say prepare and you can pass in different things over here I'm just going to say at www ioncoding.com and the callback function you can simply code it yourself here and uh, what happened there 
and uh, over here you have to define whatever the response is so you can say response over here or a callback and the cool thing is that that when that is invoked you can actually capture the response over here okay when the prepare function is invoked and the block thing is fired like when you invoke the block URL then this is actually triggered and then you can do whatever you want over here you can clean this up a little bit more if you like um, you can use a type def again as we used previously and uh, you can simply say prepare block okay and this will take an uh, string and then a parameter and instead of using all that stuff you can do a you can use prepare block and if you go over here instead of using all that stuff you can use prepare block and it will have pretty much the exact same effect that we were having. So in short, blocks are very useful. Apple is actually moving all their APIs toward block implementation. One of the UIs, if you are uh, building using Interface Builder, uh, or if you want to animate, is UI view, and the, all the animation kind of like that kind of code is now moving towards and already moved to the uh, block syntax, which uh, basically you know allows you to uh, do much more stuff in much less lines of code so it's very very helpful hope you like this video and if you do i will highly recommend that you check out my website highoncoding.com and uh, thanks for subscribing for the youtube channel and uh, thank you very much and stay tuned for more